Well, this is a comparison between the Google Pixel 2 XL and the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Six inches versus 6.3 inches. Front firing stereo speakers versus bottom firing speaker. Samsung versus LG. LG makes a Pixel. But how do they stack up? Well, the Note 8 is the bigger, the beefier, the heavier device. It just feels way, way more brr, solid. And around the back, you've got two cameras, both with OIS, one with a two times zoom. The front, you can see there's a lot more going on on the Pixel 2 XL up top and bottom. Those additional bezels are owing for those stereo speakers, which many of you, probably myself included, will think is a worthy sacrifice for space. As far as the screens go, Quad HD, six inches on the Pixel 2 XL. It's a OLED display, just like on the LG V30, given this is made by LG. It looks good down at the base, USB Type-C on both devices. You've got an S Pen and a 3.5mm headphone jack, neither of which are on the Pixel 2 XL. S Pen supports 1496 levels of pressure sensitivity. The Note 8 is way heavier, 195 grams versus 175 grams, and it's thicker, 8.6 millimeters versus 7.9. So it is ultimately gonna be a bigger, beefier bit of kit in your pocket. Its finish is slicker as well. The glass front glass and back attracts fingerprints pretty readily, but it does support wireless charging, which is a really, really nice plus. As far as interfaces go, you've got Android across both Android 7 on the Note. You've also got Edge panels, so you can swipe in from the right-hand side, take advantage of that curved glass screen. Versus Android 8 on the Pixel 2 XL, the Pixel 2 XL has a few flourishes over stock Android 8 that we've seen on the regular Pixels, but it is going to be as stock as you can get. This is effectively the new normal. Now, the Pixel doesn't have a curved glass screen, but it has curved glass, if that makes sense. It isn't actually the screen that is curved. So anyone who likes stock Android will definitely prefer the Pixel 2 XL. As far as the power under the hood goes, you have a Snapdragon 835 across both, 4 gig of RAM on the Pixel versus 6 gig of RAM on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. You've also got a Bixby button to take advantage of the onboard assistant. Now, Bixby, we've seen a little bit of, we've seen a lot more of Google Assistant. If you squeeze the Pixel 2 XL, that will activate Google Assistant. So that's a pretty sweet deal. Camera combination, you've got front camera of 8 megapixels across both, rear camera of 12 megapixels across both two, although that dual camera setup affords you that two times to zoom. Now, the Pixel 2 XL DXR marked better across video and photo than the Note 8 with 98. The uh, Note 8 benchmarked incredibly well for photos, but its uh, video score brought it down a little bit. The Mark is just benchmarked though, so we're going to have to wait till we get these in for real world tests before we call it conclusively. Um, as far as other key specs goes, um, you've got 64 gigabytes of storage on both devices, though the Pixel 2 XL is not expandable, comes in 128 gig variant, whereas the Note 8 is expandable. The Pixel 2 XL also comes with three years of uh, cloud storage in full resolution for all your videos and your photos. The Pixel 2 XL also has a bigger battery over 3,500 milliamps despite that smaller screen versus 3,300 milliamps on the Note 8, meaning that it'll probably last a fair bit longer. The Note 8 is already out, so you can pick it up for over £130. Wherever you are, it's going to cost a huge whack, about around a thousand bucks. In the UK, you can get the Pixel 2 XL for £800. Now, the black and white variant is the one that I would go for. It is the most attractive. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, click that thumbs up button. If you like the channel, subscribe. That's how you stay on top of everything.